Hello, welcome back to the C programming video tutorials. I am Shaji. Today uh, we are going to see one program with some string comparison. And here is the program. In this program, uh, we have the regular uh, header files stdio.h for standard input output operations, scan of printf and all, console input output operations. Uh, for that, we are using the include file on your dot s. Additionally, in this program, we are using one more header file that is string dot h. It is used for uh, string functions. Some some string functions we are using in this program. So we need to include the prototypes of those functions. Here, in this program, we have to character array st1 and st2 string 1 and string 2 so we have two character strings which are which we are going to store in st1 and the second one will be stored in st2 so these two uh, string or the character array can hold values up to 80 characters in length and we are using one integer i for storing some integer value and here we are using printf enter first number first string so en enter the first string so that will be a code on the screen so that the user can type some string and that will be stored into st1 character array with the help of get us get us is a uh, function which can be used to read some string so the value will be the red value will be stored into st1 and again one more print of enter the second string so second string uh, will be stored into st2 we have two arrays character arrays st1 and st2 and we are going to fill some user input values and we are expecting uh, the length of the string be less than 80 and we are using some print of the size of percentage s is percentage d slash n st1 str len st1 str len is a method which is defined in string dot s to find the length of a string so st1 st1 uh, is the string and we are using str len to find the length of this string and that will return an integer value that will be printed here the size of the string is this much and similarly we are going to print the size of the second string strl strln will return the length of a given string and we are going to use one more string function strcmp that is for comparing two strings strcmb st1 comma st2 we are going to compare these two strings with the help of strcmb and after the comparison it is going to return some value that will be stored in i so i is going to receive some value which is returned by strcmb and we are going some if condition checking if not i if the value is zero suppose the sdn st1 and st2 both the strings are equal the values in these two variables are equal then we will get a value zero in i in the variable i so if not i that means if the value of i equal to zero the strings are equal both the strings are equal if str1 st st1 and st2 both the strings are equal then we will get 0 here and so we can print strings are equal else if i less than 0 then we will get the print this string is less than the second string one is less than other one else we can uh, print it in the reverse way the second one is sorry the first one is greater than the second one which one is greater and less so in this program we can compare two strings 
we can find the length of two strings using strlen and we can compare the uh, the two strings with strcmb so if both the strings are equal then it is going to give a value of 0 if the first one is smaller than the second one then it is going to give a minus value otherwise it is going to give a positive value the value of i will be either minus 1 0 or it can be plus 1 so by checking the value of i we can decide which string is greater ok we will run and see the program so it will be very wonderful uh, to see how it is finding which is greater lesser and all ok let us run the program ok we are having given any CLR SCR so all the previous things got displayed on the screen ok let it be there ok I am going to give a string A B C D ok the second string also A B C D I am going to give the same string of course the, the program should say the length will be 4 and both strings are equal that's fine and good because a b c d is equal to a b c d both the strings are equal and both are of the size uh, 4 characters so let me give c l r s c r give here c l r a c r to clear the screen ok save the program let me try it once again ok the scre screen got cleared we are getting a fresh screen for our values ok I am giving A B C D for the first string and A B C E for the second string both the lengths are for no problem A B C D is less than A B C E that's what it is giving how can you find which is less and which is greater I don't know somehow it got this answer like this let us try once again with some other value here in this case I am going to give A B C D and A B C C here also the length is 4 same no problem 4 characters are there in each of the string A B C D is greater than A B C C how it is coming ok if you are sorting these two if you are arranging or sorting these two string in an alphabetical order then in that case ABCC comes first and ABCD comes the next that means ABCC is lesser and ABCD is greater that's the only logic which one is greater and which one is lesser once again ABCD and ABCD a B C D is greater than caps A B C A B C D the uppercase character A B C D. Here the checking is done with the help of ASCII characters, ASCII values of these characters. So if you check for the ASCII representation table, lowercase A B C D is coming first and uppercase A B C D is coming after lower cases. So in that case the small a b c d is greater than uppercase a b c d so this is a program in which you can find the length of a string and you can compare two strings whether they are equal or this program can be modified if you modify to use if you want to do something with character string sorting if you want to sort a list of strings in alphabetical order ascending or descending whatever way uh, the same logic can be modified hope you have understood this program this program is a simple program you can try it out and please try this program and if you have if you have any doubt or any clarification needed please feel free to contact me this is my email id it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video bye have a nice day